Okay, uh, I'm a little late today with this video. I was extremely busy with work and kids, whatever, but either way, uh, I didn't do too good today and uh, crossover, right? We won, which is good, you know, we won pretty easy. But the team that I played against, I some reason lost on uh, my attack, on one of my attacks at least. And I kind of figured out what it was. The guy was extremely, well, I wouldn't say extremely weak. The guy was weaker than me, right? But the difference was, um, I think, see, the harder team above, the harder uh, teammate, I beat him easy. But the weaker teammate, I lost, right, on one of the battles, right? The top battle with the twins. And the team that I use, I normally win, right? But I kind of figured out what it was. It was that Lars wasn't near Max or Max like I'm used to battling against, right? So with him being, say, an 80K hero instead of a 100K hero, he will ultimate a lot quicker than normal, right? Anybody play the game kind of know what I'm talking about. But um, I was battling and everything was going good as usual. And then all of a sudden, Lars did a very quick ultimate, right? And so I was wondering, like, oh, man, well, it's too late. You know, I've battled that same combination of twins maybe at least 100 times, you know. So I kind of used the same teams over and over again. I said, okay, well, uh, this team isn't near max, you know, so the Lars isn't that strong. So I don't put Kark in the third position. So I put Kark in the second position, and he was fine, right? But he ended up not dying. He died from Lars Ultimate, and, and everything went a little bit sooner than normal, right? Everything, I think, at a lower, when you, were, you know, they're not as powerful. They may charge up a little bit faster and Ultimate a couple of seconds. You know, it only takes a couple of seconds difference to, make a huge difference that would be like just the right of time where somebody else is about to do the ultimate or somebody's magic uh defense or whatever kicks in or anything happens you know so it changed the little timing of uh my battle you know the other teams i beat pretty easily you know but i want to show the battle anyway right even though i lost it so i'm like okay well Everything was going smooth. I didn't one shot kill Lars. So then I started thinking maybe for this combination with him being not as uh, invested into, maybe I should have took uh, Kai out and put Nebula in there. And then so that would have made Kark's ultimate about uh, 40K higher or whatever. Maybe maybe even higher than that, you know, maybe 80K higher. And it would have one shot killed Lars instead of being one shot and he was like 80% um, damage or whatever of his damage. And he had about 20% left. But here go the battle right here. So I'm like, okay, well, it's nothing you can do, you know. I can't waste another attack. Even though we beat them pretty easily, I took out the top two guys. Well, almost the second one. The first one, I beat pretty easily, right? Now, this is a little bit more powerful Twins team. But 
I seen they had Krista tanking. So when I see Krista tanking, I always change it out, put Astroff in second position, Kark in third, and um, Luther in first, right? So on these, I can actually show these. This is the data sheet right there. It was pretty much normal. That's usually how it goes right there. Now here goes the battle. That's it. When Kai is able to do that ultimate, it kills a lot of people, but he didn't get to do it with the other battle, you know? And I always, they always say, well, Kai isn't that good or whatever, it's all about Faceless, but Faceless does very little damage in comparison to Kai, you know? He helps Kai a lot though with the, the, the uh, magic penetration. Okay, this is the second battle, this is my quick kill mage team I put up against there. And they usually get the job done pretty quick. So on this one, with it being my quick kill mage, I always try to see how long it took. It's always usually around 20 seconds. seconds okay well, that's it for you you out of there now I'm gonna originally built that team a lot of guys talk trash to me said that don't work together they don't work together you can't have it this way you can't have it that way and I'm like why am I sitting up here and I was going back and forth with these guys why am I arguing with these guys guys when I'm winning I'm actually winning they telling me no you have to run Satori with Celeste and Jorgen and Astroff and it has to be the classic meta team, right? I was like, okay, well, you know that maybe 80% of the people that run Satori run that same meta team. And when the team is a meta team, it's so common, people already know how to counter it. I know how to counter it, you know, that's just how it is, you know, so I use my team for a different purpose. Now, this bottom team, I was a little worried about because it's different, right? And I know when I normally run Crick Kark, Crick Kark is dangerous, right? So I say, oh, I'm not really worried about Yasmin because Yasmin, in comparison, isn't that powerful compared to Kark, you know? But I said, that's a Crick Kark right there. So I was wondering, like, Man, I hope he don't blow through my team because if he get past Envari, normally they can, he can run through your team, you know. This is a max cart, fully max, a highly invested Yasmin, a decent Sebastian, a highly uh, invested Astroff, and a highly invested Jet. So I was like, okay. But that's how I set my teams up. I end up going crit for crit on that one you know so that's how i did it so let's see what happened or how it happened instantly he's down it's a good thing though is <laughs> Kark didn't do back to back ultimates real quick you know he kind of took a little second to charge back up which is good you know and that gave me just enough time to go ahead and kill him off my quick kill maze team is usually a few seconds faster than uh my crit team and usually it counters my crit team you i, I normally run a quick kill maze team and it counters it i can put helios 
But the problem is Helios actually takes a long time to get going, you know, and sometimes my crit team will run over him. So we won day three in Monday. I guess it's going to be the start of day four, you know, and the teams normally get harder as the days go up. It, it go to day 10. Day 10 is the actual championship day, you know, and so far. I never won a day 10. I've gotten a day 10 three times, I want to say, with two different guilds, right? So we've gotten to day 10 with two different guilds. And so far, I never won a banner yet, you know? So I hope to win one soon. And uh, it's pretty much how it goes. So let me see. We won today uh, in the local wars. The problem is we had a guy that didn't uh, forgot to battle today, you know. So our score kind of suffered a little bit at the end, but we were still able to win the weekly uh, local wars. Yeah, see, we came in first place. That's my old guild there. The other guild I was in after Pantheon was... Uh, what's the name of them? Man, they forgot the name of them. Damn. But they was after them, and now I'm in Vinland Saga. Okay, previous week. See, we won previous week. We won cur uh, current week. And this is Silver League. I don't think I ever played up against none of these guys. But uh, every now and then I see one of them in arena. Every now and then. I never see none of these guys. I don't even know who they are. If they know me, I don't know anything. Those guys are normally so low level. You never see him. It's like you're in a whole other world, but you're in the same server. <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird like that, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to make another video. Uh, I can make it right now, maybe. Okay, I'll make another video after this.